morning we're coming to this house amen to worship Christ our Lord it is it is indeed a great pleasure this morning and a delight to be able to come into your house amen to your homes or to your automobiles or wherever you might be this morning this beautiful day the Lord has blessed us to be a part of amen live streaming from the sanctuary the Irish Cathedral Church in Houston, Texas, amen, 7016 Homestead Road, Houston, 77028. We're always glad, we're always glad to be with you and to have you with us. It is a great day, it is a great day, and this, amen, a great opportunity, a great privilege we have of the Lord to share with you on this beautiful day. I pray that you've been looking forward to it. I have. I've been looking forward to this great day. Praise our God. And I'm expecting God to do great things for us on this morning. I pray that your expectations are as great as mine. For God is a great God. Amen. There's none like him. There's none above him. There's none beside him. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the King of Kings. He is the hope of glory. He is the great I am. Hallelujah. This morning we bless his name. Give him glory and give him praise for the good thing that God is doing in our lives. In the midst of this pandemic, as they call it, praise the Lord. And to me, I call it a massive confusion. Amen. Sorrow is everywhere. People are suffering for many things. But God is yet God. No matter what happens, God is yet God. And God is in control. Yes, this morning may be a sad morning for you, but may I encourage your heart. May I lift your spirit by informing you and reminding you that God is yet in control. Hallelujah. Amen. May I say to you, be not dismayed. Whatever be time, God will take care of you. Praise our God. That's our hope. That's our confidence. Our confidence is in God, for he is a non-failing God. Praise our God. He's the same God, a man that made the world. He's the same God that made man from the dust of the earth and breathed in him the breath of life. He's the same God that made the woman from the rib of the man. He's the same God that spoke, a man, the world came into existence. The same God that spoke, amen, the water to divide it, amen. And the same God that spoke, and the mountain was formed, the trees were formed. He's the same God that spoke, and the elements were existing. Hallelujah. He's a great God. None like him. He's a great God. I pray this morning that you will put your trust in him, but for he will never fail. In him, he'll never let you down. Put your confidence in him, he'll never forsake you. Praise our God. Thank God for Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Let us pray our Father and our God. It is once again we are privileged, amen, God, just to call your name and to admit and admonish you as our God. Once again, you have favored us with your goodness, with your mercy, with your love, with your kindness. And we thank you for it. We thank you for all things. We thank you, God, for the rain. We thank you for the cloud. We thank you for the sunshine. We thank you, God, for all things that, that you are doing in our lives. And even now, in the midst of this troubled time, in the midst of this dark day, in the midst of all the confusion, in the midst of all the animosity, in the midst of all the hatred, in the midst of all the bitterness, God, we trust in you because we know that you are in charge and you are going to bring us out all right. Our hope is in you. Our confidence is in you. We know that you can't fail. Oh, God, you never failed and you can't fail now. Thank you today. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for this hour. Thank you for this privilege. Thank you for your people. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your goodness. 
Thank you for your favor. Thank you for the hope. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for peace. Thank you for God. Hey God, thank you for life. Hey, thank you for life. Thank you for strength. Thank you, God, for courage. Thank you, God, for faith. Oh, God, we thank you this morning. And we give you glory and praise. We thank you this morning and give you glory and praise. We thank you this morning and give you glory and praise. We thank you, Lord, and give you glory and praise for your word of the glory. You worthy of the praise. You worthy of the adoration. You worthy of the Hey God, you're worthy. For your name is worthy. For there's no name like your name. There's no power like your power. There's no peace like your peace. There's no joy like your joy. There's no hope like your hope. There's no deliverance like your deliverance. There's no salvation like your salvation. Hey Lord. Hey Lord. We love your name. We love your name. Oh Lord, we love your name. We love your name. We love your name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love your name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah.
God is a blessing to know that the Lord will help you. Amen. He said, praise the Lord in Matthew 7 and 7, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened to you. For he that asks and receiveth, he that seeketh findeth. And he that knocketh the door is open. Amen. And one of the things God cannot do, one of the things God cannot do, God cannot lie. Praise our God. Hallelujah. It's a blessing this morning. It's a blessing this morning to be able just to call my Savior's name. Praise our God. I pray today that you will, amen, renew your hope in the Lord. Renew your confidence in the Lord. This pandemic, amen, if you're not careful, can cause you to lose your grip on the Lord. Yes. I don't think you heard me. Can cause you to lose your grip on the Lord. Amen. Yes, yes, it is. Praise the Lord, a bad thing. Amen. It is a bad thing. And, uh, amen. And as much as it may be a work of the enemy, but God allowed it. God allowed it. And since God allowed it, there's a purpose in it. Amen. That God will benefit from it in the end. Praise our God. Amen. It is a test. Amen. For the believer. It is a test of their courage. It is a test of their faith. It is a test of their endurance. It's a test of their patience. It's a test of their long suffering. Praise our God. But may I encourage you this morning, may I remind you, amen, to not lose your grip on the Lord because you can't attend church as you once have. Don't lose your grip on God because you can't, amen, do the things you once did that help you to hold on. No, 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 amen. God said himself, I'm God. The same yesterday, today, and forever. So God has not changed. God does not change. God will not change. Therefore, we need not be disturbed. We need not be consumed. Amen. He's yet, amen, on the throne. And yet, in charge. His eyes is in every place beholding the evil and the good. We serve a God that is, amen, omnipotent. Praise the Lord. That's all power. We serve a God that's omniscient, that knows all things, that can do all things. That's the God we serve. I pray that you will not lose your grip on the Lord, but renew your faith. Renew your walk with him. Amen. Don't let this get the best of you. Because eventually, amen, God is going to cause it to end. Praise our God. You want to be sure that you yet walk with God when it comes to, amen, an end. Praise our God. Hallelujah. God bless you today and God keep you is our prayer. May I encourage you, amen, in your Praise the Lord, the sharing with God. Amen. You have been blessed by this ministry. You've been blessed by the word of God. Amen. Find it in your heart to share with this ministry. Amen. Your love gifts. Praise the Lord, your monetary gifts. Find it in your heart to share with this ministry. Amen. That God will continue to bless you. God will continue to smile on you is our prayer. Praise our God. Let's go this morning to the word of the Lord. Amen. The book of St. Luke, chapter 12. Amen. Uh, and uh, verse 49. The book of St. Luke, chapter 12, and verse 49. Pray the Lord. I shall read only the first. Amen. Set us, if you will, of that 
amen, mentioned verse. And the first is read from the King James Version. I am come to Amen. I am come to set fire on the earth. Jesus himself speaking in this particular scripture. Praise our God. Hallelujah. Uh, I pray this morning that God will empower me with the spirit to deliver this message on this morning. Praise the Lord. I pray that you pray for me out there. Even when I step on your toes. Amen. I pray that you say, God, give me strength. Amen. Give him strength. Even though he stepped on my toes, still give him strength. Don't, don't cut him out. Amen. Since I've set my ear to hear, amen, the Lord. I have set my ear to hear the Lord. I've set my heart to receive what God said and my spirit to receive what God said. And my mouth to declare what God says. I've said. I've set my amen. Praise the Lord, ear to hear. I've set my amen. Heart to receive, my spirit to receive, and my mouth to declare what thus saith the Lord. Praise the Lord. I found out. In the study of Apostle that was what he had done, or that was what he did, and it caused him to be rejected. It caused him to be a man imprisoned. It caused him to be a man even whipped. And eventually, it cost his life. Praise our God. Eventually, it cost his life. I perceive that God wants me to declare. Jesus spoke and said that they'd rather believe a lie than the truth. Amen. And people are flocking to Amen uh, messengers today that tells them things amen, that they amen, are going to prison. Thank you, hear me this morning. 
This pandemic has taken a toll on many, especially those who were not faithful in going to church. <coughs> Pardon me. Yes, yes, especially those who were not faithful in going to church, not faithful in fasting and praying, not faithful in studying God's word, and not faithful Amen. In meditating on God's word and pondering it in their hearts. This pandemic is taking a toll on them because they are accustomed to riding on somebody else's salvation. They are accustomed to riding on somebody else's prayer. They are accustomed to riding on somebody else's singing. They don't have a song at all in their heart. They wait for you to say. But this pandemic, amen, is taking a toll on them because ain't nobody there to sing for them. Pray that because of this, many have lost their grip on the Lord. And some have even lost the desire to hold on or even walk with God any longer. Amen. One of the worst things you can ever do is to forsake true help in the time of calamity. Praise our God. I, I, it, the verse that I read to you from St. Luke, Jesus said, I am come to set fire on the earth. And this morning I'm speaking to you from the topic, let the fire fall. Amen. Let it fall. Let it fall. Jesus used the metaphor in Luke 12, 49, he said, I am come to set fire on the earth. For many, this was understood to be the preaching of the gospel and uh, the pouring out of the Holy Ghost, both of which are represented by fire. And there appeared unto them, amen, in Acts chapter 2, cloven tongues, like as of fire, and sat upon each of them. Praise our God. Fire, 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 fire. We've been, those of you who watch the news, have been observing fire in Oregon, fire in Washington, fire in California, and fire has been burning up, amen, thousands and thousands of acres, and fire, I thought about when I was watching that, Amen. I thought about, amen, I've been blessed to go, amen, to Oregon. I've been blessed to go to California. Amen. I've been blessed to pass through Washington. And I thought about all of the acres burning with fire. I thought about where the snakes going and where, amen, and all the other things going that the fire is burning. Somebody is doing some serious running. Somebody doing some serious running. Amen. Trying to get out the way of the fire. Praise God. Hallelujah. I thought about, oh, amen, all the rattlesnakes. I thought about all the other snakes and all the lizards and all the scorpions and all the raccoons and all the squirrels and all the possums and all the poor birds that's got wings. But the fire, amen, was burning so hot, so high. That I'm not sure wings helped him in at all. Praise the Lord. Fire was burning. Fire is burning. And I thought about what the Lord said. Amen. Praise the Lord to Noah. When the flood came and God spoke to Noah and said, Noah, amen, I will know not ever destroy the earth with, with water, with fire next time. And I'm going to give you a rainbow in the sky to let you know, amen, what I said is true. Every now and then you can look toward the east and see a rainbow in the sky that tells you God is sticking to his promise. Fire is an emblem of the presence of God. The offering of the tabernacle were consumed by fire. Fire is an emblem of testing. Praise our God. Every man's work, so said the Bible in the first Corinthians chapter 3 
and verse 13. Every man work can be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man work of what it is. What you're saying, brother preacher, I'm saying be careful of what you're doing, because whatever you're doing, if it will not stand the test of fire, it will not be in your best interest in the end. Ah, yes sir, yes sir. Amen, praise the Lord. Elijah called fire from heaven. Amen, to the sacrifice of Baal. God used fire in the burning bush to get Moses' attention. Thank the Lord. What we need 
need today. And I'm trying to sit down here. What we need today is our churches to set on fire. Yes, sir. What we need in our churches is not more choir members, but we need fire in the choir. What we need today is not a better musician, but we need a musician to catch on fire. Yeah.
gonna try my best. The good. good. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I was a, a child. And we got a splinter in our face. And the splinter was seeing us so long until it festered. Yes, sir. And when it festered, it becomes sore. And you can hardly touch it. And find a needle. And when you find a needle, we find a match. And to a match and put it to the head of that needle. Put it to the head of that needle. What you saying, Brother Kapu? I'm saying that fire, that fire, thank you, sir. Will take the impurities out of that needle. That fire at that point will burn everything in the needle. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. I'm unsanitary. What you saying, Kafu? I'm saying this morning, we need the fire to follow us until everything else that's not right will come out. We need the fire. The attitudes become adjusted. We need to fire the followers to our minds get right. We need to fire the followers to our conduct get right. We need to fire the followers to our Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. What do I do? Hallelujah. It's time. And get serious and tell God, let the fire fall on me. Can I stop acting? Let the fire fall on me. Can I get serious? Let the fire fall on me. Hallelujah. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall.
or it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Praise our God this morning. I pray that you have been helped. I pray that you've been inspired. I pray that you've been uplifted. I pray that you've been, amen, your faith. I've been renewed. Your walk with God have been renewed because you've allowed the fire of God hallelujah, to burn in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Bless your name. They have some things, and I'm, 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 I'm really trying to close. They have some little things that grows on your body. They call moles. Amen. Moles. Uh -huh. And it disfigures your body. Because it's going go anywhere. You don't have no respect to person. Thank the Lord. But I've discovered, I've discovered, amen, that when you go to get those things taken off. <laughs> Thank you. The dermatologist, I guess is what you call them, dermatologist, amen, does not cut them off. But they burn them off. Oh, good God. Let they burn them off. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. What you're saying, preacher? Thank you, Lord. That is in your life. That should not be in there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. You're going to this person and that person trying to get it off. Well, let me save you some time and money to go to Jesus and tell Jesus, thank you, Lord. Oh, bless 
to this morning. Let the fire
prayed this earth. I feel the spirit talking to me right now because somebody is in need of what I'm trying to say. Thank you. The devil pulling one way and the spirit of God is pulling you another way. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What you need to do is what Samuel, hallelujah, was instructed by the prophet Eli when the Lord called Samuel and Samuel was a child. Didn't understand what was happening. He got up out of bed and ran to Eli and said, my Lord, you call me Eli. God. He spoke to Samuel and said, Lord, son, I didn't call you. Go lay back down. He went back and laid down. When he laid down, the Lord called him a second time. And Samuel got up and ran back to Eli and said, my Lord, you called me. Eli, knowing what was happening. Eli spoke to him and said, no, I didn't call you, son. Go lay back down. And when you hear the voice, this kind speak to you. And speak back to him and say, speak, Lord. Your servant hear you. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. God has been speaking to somebody. God has been trying to get your attention. You need to stop and tell God, speak, Lord. Was burning in the 
Apostle Paul, when he was standing before King Agrippa, the fire was burning so when Paul began to speak for himself, thank you, Jesus. It was of such force, hallelujah, empowered by the Holy Ghost, until the king stood up and said, Paul, you almost persuaded me to be a Christian. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When the fire of God, thank you, Jesus, start burning in you. Don't care where you come from. Don't care what you know, what you think you know. It'll take precedence. It'll take precedence in your life. Bless you. Oh. Oh, 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 oh,